Hello, how are you? It's Grima here and uh, for this week's topic for YouTube Pagan Challenge we have a theme um, How is your practice connected with your mundane life? Whoa! That's a really tricky question actually because I'd say that most of us will have the same answer uh, which will be that witchcraft is actually our lifestyle rather than uh, to be some kind of hobby or something uh, for which we have some hours uh, during the week or something which we are practicing only during sabbats and uh, that we are maybe hiding it from our mundane life or that uh, we are maybe in the broom closet and uh, not showing that we are witches uh, in daily basis um, I'd say that uh, all of us who are practicing witchcraft or magic are becoming witches or magicians all of us who are uh, connecting with the nature and following uh, the old gods are pagans we are that I am witch I can't connect it with my mundane life it is my mundane life and uh, that's probably my main answer for, for this question uh, because uh, I think that even uh, if you are in the broom closet, uh, you are always thinking, after a while, you start to think in the way how the symbolism works, how different energies work, how are these connections between people and between things. And uh, at some point, I'd say that in the moment when you become a witch, uh, through any kind of process, through initiation or just that you start to read or just that you open your eyes and your mind and your soul, your heart. In this moment you are just absolutely seeing and feeling all these things all the time. It's not something that you switch on and switch off. It is something that you can uh, have in a much uh, wider way or in a much uh, stronger way during the ritual because there are another things which are helping you to raise that kind of abilities of yours but still it is yourself it is in you it is your mundane life basically it is with you all the time once you are witch you never go back like it's uh it's like this and uh I think that that's uh, the main answer for me for this question. I really don't have much to say about it and I would maybe like to encourage other which is pagans and magicians to be themselves and that's the main thing. It doesn't matter if you are in the circle or if you are on the street in the car or wherever. You are yourself all the time and you are witch, magician, pagan or whatever you feel yourself to be, whatever you became based on your experience, based on the things that you've read, based on correspondences that you created and that created you, as we were talking about it uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, when I was talking about food last time as well, uh, it is all about the feeling of energies around us to appreciate, to appreciate the, the earth uh, under us and surrounding us and uh, to be connected uh, with God and to listen to your intuition, your inner bell and all these things are our daily practice they are with us all the time and uh, not only when we are awake also when we are in our dreams all the time so I'm witch all the time even in my mundane life because to be a witch is a part of my mundane life not maybe not even a part it's my wholeness and that's my answer for this week's topic. See you soon!